to Omsk, we take Omsk, and then Irkutsk, Irkutsk. The Grand Duke's army is at Irkutsk. <laughs> the Grand Duke's army. Your leader has arranged certain matters with the Grand Emir. The Grand Emir? He joins us <laughs> after Omsk with his army. Well, our victory must not be kept waiting. Now, gentlemen, I leave for Nizhny Novgorod to receive news from Petersburg. You have your orders. To Omsk, where we meet. And to the friend of our bosom, the Tsar. <laughs> have cut the telegraph wires. Here. We can no longer reach your army at Irkutsk. Summon a courier. We believe that Ogarev is behind this rebellion. Ogarev? A former colonel in your majesty's guard, exiled some years ago as a traitor. Courier, your majesty. We'll wait outside. Michael Strogoff, Your Majesty, Captain of the Guard. You know Siberia? I was born there, Your Majesty, in Omsk. Have you any relatives there? Only my mother. Michael Strogoff, you will take this letter and these plans of attack. 
to my brother, the Grand Duke Vladimir, who is in command of the army at Irkutsk. He has sent us a frantic appeal for help. Reinforcements are marching to his aid at once. They will arrive at Pulev on the 27th. My brother must march his troops there to meet them on that date. The Tatar army will be between them. You understand? I understand, Your Majesty. You will precede the reinforcements with all possible speed. Captain Strogoff, the fate of Siberia and the life of my brother are in your hands. I shall remember, Your Majesty. How long is it since you have seen your mother? Three years, Your Majesty. You will pass through Omsk, but you must not see your mother. You might be recognized. I will not see my mother. Go, Michael Strogoff. For God, for Russia, for the Tsar. <laughs> Can't you be careful? A thousand apologies, madame. May I present my card? In the event that there is any damage. Drive on. Your pardon, sir. Your name. I couldn't help overhearing it. Cough enough. I wonder. Madam, allow me. I'm Henry Blount of the London Daily Telegram, Edward Packer of the Cleveland Chronicle. How interesting. You're very kind, gentlemen. Oh, he's the gentleman, but I'm very kind. I thought possibly you might be related to my dear friends Anna and Sergei Kopanov in Moscow. I'm sorry. But I cannot claim the honor. Indeed, there's almost a family resemblance. And when I heard the name, naturally, I... You will forgive me? Look out! Oh, good heavens! My camera! My new camera! Tell me, is, is, is it hurt? I apologize. Oh, for what? Calling you a gentleman. I beg your pardon. It was very kind of you to do that. But I'm afraid you've hurt your hand. It's nothing. Oh, let me see. You sprained it. It must be bandaged at once. Oh, no, please don't bother. Why did you save my stupid head at such a price? Well, perhaps I thought it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Miss... Uh... Fedorova. Nadia Fedorova. Uh, Nadia. And thank you, Mr. Korpanov. Yes, that's right. Excuse me, just one moment, please. You better take the boat. It leaves tonight at 8 o'clock. But the boat is so slow. Where to, madam? The gypsy camp. You might get started in a carriage, all right. But the farther in you go, the harder it is to get relays. I see. Anything wrong? 
They won't give me a visa. Why not? Oh, because of the fighting. They say a girl traveling alone. But it is dangerous. But I must get to Omsk. My father's there. He's very ill. Let me see your passport. I'll see what can be done. You, 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 have to know who please, we are. gentlemen, you will kindly leave me in peace. Orders are very strict. Now, tomorrow, you will have to see the Consul General. Ah, my dear sir, come in, come in. Why? How do you like that? The Cleveland Chronicle don't mean a thing in this country. Doesn't, my dear fella, doesn't. Never mind the grammar, old fruit. What are we going to do about catching up with this war? In every distressing, humiliating, or embarrassing situation, I pause, take a deep breath, count ten, and say, peace, wisdom, happiness. Well, everything is arranged. You've got the visa? Why not? For my sister. Thank you, brother. Come on. But how did you manage it? Our names are different. Simple. Our mother was married twice. Sister. Brother. Are you by any chance my father? <laughs> by no chance, my dear chap. The children in my family are all intelligent. Agreed. We get the munitions at my terms. Tomorrow we bind the bargain. Vasily, the fates are with us. Yes, Excellency. A match. A woman to see you. Ah, from her in. Sangara. It's been so long, Ivan. Yes. What news? The Tsar sent a courier to the Grand Duke with plans for the Russian counteroffensive. Courier? He must be stopped immediately. You know the man? Michael Strogoff. I followed him here from St. Petersburg. And? I found him most charming. Oh, no, no, Zangara. This is no time to make me jealous. Where is he now? I don't know. But tonight he continues his trip to Omsk by boat. You must find him instantly. Follow him. Never let him out of your sight until you get those plans. But I've just arrived. Don't send me away. Let someone else go. But there is no one else. Besides, you already know the man. I'm here alone and I cannot leave before tomorrow. You must get those plans or stop the messenger. No matter how. Tangara. I shall meet you at Tomsk. We shall then have a victory to celebrate. Think of that. But first, we must have those plans. And after Omsk, Irkutsk. And after Irkutsk, things will be different with us. Siberia will be mine. And you will be a queen. Do you not want to be a queen? Vasily! Vasily, you will accompany Madame. Protect her with your life, or you won't have it long. to join her. I'm sorry, but I'm traveling with my sister. She's very beautiful, Mr. Korkunov. But have you seen my sister? And I'm not Mr. Korkunov. <laughs> I'm your brother.
take her to a cab. You're hurt. Oh, just a scratch. I'll wash it off in my cabin. Are you frightened? Yes. For you. For me. Pardon me, sir. The lady wishes to see you. The one who was hurt. Was she hurt? It seems so, sir. She's asking for you. Cabin 18. Thank you. Just a moment. Come in. You sent for me, madam? Yes. I wanted to thank you. Oh, that's nothing. My life. That's very important, I assure you, if only to me, sir. So please, may I tell you how grateful I am? Any man would have done the same. There were others there and they didn't. Yes? One moment. An old servant of my family. It, uh, it seems to be in your nature to protect women. Why, madam? Well, that young lady who hurt her hand. I believe she's still with you? I'm taking her to her father, who is ill at Oms. She's very young and very beautiful. You're a brave man, Michael. Korpanov. You're mistaken, madam. My name is Nicholas Korpanov. My apologies. But again, my gratitude. How is she? I'm oh, quite recovered. But I told you he had those papers on him. You shouldn't have let him go. What could we do with them afterwards? Did you ever think of that? But Ogareff must have those plans. And I shall take great pleasure in getting them for him. Is it very painful? Oh, no. There's nothing. There's a little bottle of antiseptic in that bag. Would you please? Here. Oh, that's strange. I thought I'd... Oh. Is this it? You had it out all the time. Nadia, go pack your things. The boat makes a stop at Mograd in half an hour. We're getting off. But why? I have an idea we can travel more comfortably by carriage. Now, it's perfectly simple. All you do is throw out one finger every time and cry on or even. Can one win as easily as all that? Sure, I'll show you. Now, put up your money. Ten rubles. Oh, ten rubles, Bill. All right, now, try. Odd or even? Odd or even? No, either one or the other. Odd or even. Got it? Oh, I think I understand. Really. Now, try. Oh, That's right, you lose. I'm glad we left the boat. This is thrilling. I find it so. You're being so kind to me. My father will thank you when we get to Omsk. More fitting for me to thank your father. Even! I know, I lose. Ah, great pastime. Played it since childhood. I know a better game. Oh, well, how nice. What, what is that? I take your money. You take a walk. Oh, but I say that's most frightfully one-sided. Good 
Good heavens, how could he be so calm? We've been robbed. We've been robbed of 200 rubles. Hey! Hold it! Oh, hello. I wonder if you'd be so kind as to give us a lift. Where are you going? Anywhere you like. We're just out looking for trouble. We're, we're, we're in search of a war. Have you seen a war? You'll find it soon enough. Ah. Come along. But hurry, we must catch fresh horses at the next inn. Immediately. We leave in ten minutes. Yes, sir. You know, one can't travel without one's hat. I might catch the most frightful chill in Siberia. One is traveling without I... one's hat. Fresh horses. We have no more, sir. But I saw some as I came in. Those are the last ones, sir. They have been taken. By whom? That gentleman there. Change the horses to my carriage. Nothing of the sort. Who are you? If it comes to that, who are you? Yeah, who are? You. <laughs> who am I? You will soon know well enough who I am. But just now I want those horses. So do I. Better not argue. Change them to us! Yes, sir. No! They are mine. No. We'll see about that. Have you a gun? I don't fight over horses. <clears throat> and now... Not now. I hate her. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? She 
bring the fresh horses to the other carriage. Your journey is almost over. Omsk is just ahead. That means goodbye, brother. Oh, no. That means au revoir, sister.
we meet again. So far, so good. Celebration, good friend. A great feast in honor of our victory. Not so hasty, not so hasty. Let's win one first. This is nothing. As soon as Zangan arrives, we must march to join the Grand Emir. The Russian army has been sighted, Excellency. 40,000 men. What's that? Where? Four days' march from here. Why hasn't that idiot of a woman arrived? We must retreat and give up Omsk? Never! What good friend can we be, the Russian? Listen to Ogorov, and you will. Zangara will wait here for me. Uh, give orders to let no one pass through while I'm away. I thought you'd never wake up. Sleeping? For five whole days. Irkutsk, you keep saying. Irkutsk. What did you mean? Irkutsk. Five days. The reinforcements. There's still time. We must not attack. Where is he? Now remember now, where is he? Oh. The old man, the old man, get him at once. Get him at once, go. Everything is arranged with the Grand Emir. The Russian army will be between us, poor fools. Ah, oh, Zangara. I was worried about you. Now, Plans. I didn't get them. What? Strogoff disappeared. Imbecile! Fool! How did you let that happen? We couldn't help it. You should have killed him before you let him escape. You could have killed him. Let him go. The man had only that moment saved my life. What's that to me? For this, I've given up everything. Mm -hmm. Your name, your position. I know, I know that. You've said it a thousand times. I won't stand this, Ivan. Silence. No one was allowed to pass through, Excellency. Perhaps he is still here. That's it. That's it. There's still a chance. Give orders at once to search every inn and public place in the town. Arrest every traveler. Is it? You know the struggle. Join the search. You can redeem yourself by bringing him to me. Search the inns! Arrest every traveler in the city!
horse. For you. Michael, you're here. They burned everything, stolen everything, but it doesn't matter. You are here. I don't understand, madam. Who are you? Who am I? Your mother, my child. Yes, I'm mistaken. You see, I have no mother. You're not Michael Stroger? No. My name is Karpanov. Nikolas Karpanov, merchant of Yakutsk. Forgive me, sir. My eyes, they are not very good. It's the third time I've mistaken someone else for my son. Forgive an old woman. Excuse me, sir. Let no one escape. Take all the travelers to the detention camp. Close all the doors. No one is to leave. Take her to Ogre.
Strogoff's mother? Yes. Oh, you admit it. Where did your son go? Where is he staying? I don't know. Didn't he tell you at the inn? That was not my son. It wasn't? I was mistaken. I think not. A mother knows her own child. And a child knows his own mother. He wouldn't repulse her. Perhaps he had his reasons for that. Sangara, where did you last see Michael Strogoff? Well? On the way to Omps. What is your answer to that? I would not answer that woman. Answer me. My answer to you, Ogara. The speaker wants you. Excellency. What is it? The Russians have arrived at Puleb. They are preparing for battle. Take her away. We'll give these Russians a little lesson. You better take down the story. Right. The first pitched battle of the Siberian Rebellion took place here today, September the 27th, when the Russian army faced the target troops outside of Omsk. The Russians advanced in regular battle formations. The enemy came to meet the attack behind the crude shelter of hay carts. is brought into action. Shells are falling in the Tartar line. Suddenly, from nowhere, the Tartar cavalry is swept onto the field. Magnificent horsemen, they charge straight towards the Russian line. Who's that? Two 
close, it's here. Comfort, peace, happiness. One, two, don't push. Three, four, five, six. You too, Nadia. Peace, wisdom, happiness. My dear Packer, forget this puny philosophy. An offense has been committed against my person, and my person bitterly resents it. Yeah? Well, let me know how your person feels about it when they shoot us for spies. They wouldn't. Huh. Or would they? <laughs> Forgive me, Zangara. Then I assume that you forgive me? That's gracious of you. You are right to rebuke me. I lost my head. Everything seemed to depend on those plans. You won without them, you should be happy. Yes. Yes, I should be. But I'm not. You must know that all my victories are hollow, empty, unless you share them with me. For whom am I ambitious, if not for you? We must never quarrel again, Zangara. It's childish, senseless. It only makes me unhappy. You mean that? You mustn't doubt me, Zangara. These are for you. You see, I've been thinking of you. But they are nothing to what you will soon have. Ivan. <laughs> Let's get away from all this killing, burning and misery. Yes, soon. Very soon. But first you must help me. One little thing. Oh, it won't take long. The prisoners will be let out, and you will be able to identify this, this drug of in a moment. Hassan! Line out the prisoners. Bring out the prisoners! Are you sure this drug off is amongst the prisoners? He must be. We've captured every stranger in the vicinity. He couldn't have escaped. Say, 
is an ogre off our little playmate from the post house? Why, to be sure, so it is. He's not here. What? You seem pleased. Pleased? Why should I be pleased? There's among you a Captain Michael Strogoff. I will immediately set free anyone who points him out to me. Son is among these prisoners. Point him out. He's not here. Once more I ask you. Point him out. He's not here. all you found? Yes, Excellency. Letter from the Tsar. Put him under a special guard. something before we are murdered. I got it. What? It's so simple you love it. Oh, what? We've got to escape. Yeah. Uh... I have an idea, my friend. A very good idea. I'm going on the stage. One special performance for a select audience. Very select. In the palace in Irkutsk. <laughs> it's been a great day, my friend. A day of accomplishment. Now you can let your men have their celebration. A great celebration. I think they've earned it.
so you didn't recognize him. What are you going to do? Worried? I loved you once, Ivan. It's very touching. But you won't kill him. No. I won't. You have my promise. We'll think of something a little more, shall we say, irksome. Ivan! Don't let it concern you, my dear. You won't be there to see it. Allow me. if you value your life. Because ten minutes from now, my men will have orders to shoot you on sight. We made it! We're free! I... I surrender! Your papers. You are permitted to go. Michael Strogoff, your journey is ended. Michael Strogoff, we pronounce sentence upon you. You will be permitted to look upon the world until the sun rises. And then you will be blinded. Allah is all-powerful. everything. The sun will soon be rising. Is there anything more you wish to see? Summon the executioner.
Michael. Mother. Your last look, Strogoff. Carry out the sentence. <laughs> Now you may have your freedom. I'm not blind. I'm not. Michael, you can't see. I didn't want her to know. you do know. How can you ask me that, Michael?
I love you. I was your enemy once, but... It doesn't matter. Nothing matters now. Michael Strogoff goes to the palace of Irkutsk. Mm. That matters. Okay. It's last letter. You must get there before him. Nadia, I have two horses waiting for you. Yes. Goodbye, Michael Strogoff. You are very kind, madam. And you are very lucky. Reports, gentlemen. The situation is growing desperate, Your Highness. We will soon be surrounded by the Tatar forces. I advise evacuation while there's yet time, Your Highness. Never. Irkutsk may fall, but not without a fight. We must prepare for a siege. to allow all refugees within the city walls. We have nothing to fear on the south, gentlemen. The river protects us there. The north is our weak spot. We must reinforce the garrison at the north gate. Your Highness, a courier from St. Petersburg. Ah, at last. Admit him at once. I knew my brother would not fail us. Michael Strogoff, captain in the corps of couriers of His Majesty the Tsar. Advance. I bring a letter for your highness from his majesty. The plans? When captured by the Tartars, I was obliged to destroy them, your highness. Very wise. And the relief army? Defeated your highness at Pulev. Your news is discouraging. Is there anything else? One more thing, your highness. Before I escaped, I managed to learn the plans of the Tatar attack. Then speak, Captain Strogoff. This man, Ogorov, is no fool, Your Highness. He knows you will expect the attack on the weak north side. 
So he plans to surprise you by storming the east and west walls. Those walls are very strong. Yes, Your Highness, but the Tartars have more than 200,000 men. Indeed. Then we must concentrate every available reserve on the east and west sides and leave only a small garrison at the north. That would be my advice, Your Highness. It is what we shall do. <laughs> will wait on the north. The rest will pretend to attack from east and west. And what is the signal? Tonight, flood the river with oil from the tanks. Ogarev will set fire to it. Then he will open the north gate and lead the main attack. Treachery, Your Highness. Several houses on the bank are already in flames. The whole city is in danger. Send every available man to fight the fire. Wait! The attack has begun. Send only the north garrison to the river. And leave the north gate completely unguarded, sir? It's all we can do. Go. Yes, Your Highness. Can't see no one. But it's very important. The Grand Duke, where can I find him? I'm sorry, madam, but the Grand Duke can see no one.
is there, your highness. Who did this? I did. Wait. Who are you? If it please, your highness, ask me rather who that is. What nonsense is this? He's the courier of the Tsar. No. Your Highness, an enemy of the Tsar, a branded convict. Are you mad? Ivan Ogareth, traitor to Russia. And who are you? Michael Strogoff, Your Highness, courier of His Imperial Majesty, the Tsar. Your Highness, the Tatar troops amassed around the North Gate. We are betrayed. It is the end. No, not yet. Don't forget, Your Highness. They are now without a leader. Captain Strogoff, at your majesty's service. Not Captain. Colonel. Colonel Strogoff, I bestow upon you the Order of St. George, your country's highest honor. To your distinguished bravery and to the memory of your heroic mother, Russia pays homage. 